Hi traders, this is daily market review and we'll talk about Euro, Great Pound and Japanese Yen with American Dollar. This is Euro Dollar daily chart. My target for short positions goes to 0 0.96. But if you need new positions, so you didn't sell Euro, you can open it only under 0 0.9930 on daily chart. Because still it looks like they may stay in a range or they even may hit 1.0130 area but right now on daily chart there is no sell signal if you go to four hour chart you will see that they are staying in a range and they don't give us any opportunity to get a signal for one hour chart picture is the same any oscillator or candlestick signal nothing gives you an opportunity to understand that it's time to sell or buy right now so I would like to mention that we are looking for trading opportunities. We don't trade just because it's a trading day. We are waiting for an opportunity to get a signal. And right now for euro dollar, there is no good trading signal. On 15 minute chart, my advice is to get sell signal with stochastic oscillator and this envelope or on the 200 moving average. So when you see price on the 200 moving average and this red line is a 200 moving average, so you need to get the hashtag oscillator signal like this, but only when price is on the 200 moving average. So after that, you can sell and wait for 0 0.9930 and so on. But right now there is no good trading signal on 15 minute chart or a four hour chart. For Great Britain Pound, my idea is that we hit my target. So 1.610 was headed. My congratulations. And right now I'm thinking something like, okay, so they broke support. 116 was broken. Do I get opportunity to sell right now? I can tell you that for our chart is still not closed. So if for our chart is closed under 116, it will give us an opportunity to wait for 114 because my target goes to 114 and this is technical support. Oh uh, yeah. So on weekly chart, on daily chart, on monthly chart, there is no buy signal. But if you check supports, so price is really close to important support area. On four hour chart, we see that price is being in downgoing tendency. Oh, well, it's good. On one hour chart, we can see shadows on the top side right now, but let's wait for a close price of four hour chart to be sure that we should end market right now. Why I'm telling you that? Because if they break the tendency, give us for a test, they may go up to 117.30. And if they go to 117.30, this is one more entry point for us to sell Great Britain Pound. So we go to 15 minute chart and we'll try to find some like trading signal. So price has been under 200 moving average, price has been under all moving averages. Should we sell right now? Now, this is American trading time, not European. And yes, it is important. I always tell you that we should trade Euro dollar and Great Britain pound on European time. On Asian time, we trade United States dollar with Japanese yen. But right now, on American time, it's not the best period to trade Great Britain pound. Yes, they may give us some good volatility. And Thursday is one of the best days for Great Britain pound to trade but only if you follow your general idea. So if you sell right now, you should understand that it's more likely you will, you, you will get this stop loss because price is really, really close to one more target and they may give you rebounds and coming back. So it's better to trade after they give you a rebound uh, and you enter market after this rebound with your general target to 114. So for Great Britain Pound, they are on their way to 114. If you sell right now, you should put your stop loss like above 117.30 and I'm being really serious. 
on 15 minute chart, if you put a small stop loss, it, it may happen that you get this stop loss. I don't predict that because I am still waiting and looking for short positions, but not for long positions. For United States dollar over the Japanese yen, above 139, you can see this green line, above 139, you buy with the target 140, 140.60. So your target goes to 140, 140.60, and your support area is 139. Until price is above this green line, you keep buying. If something happens and they break this support, but after they come back, you buy again. So this is area, support area, after which we buy United States dollar with the Japanese yen. My general target for this currency pair goes up to 145. And current price is like 450 pips lower than my first target. And my second target goes to 145. So 145 is your maximum price since 1998. Okay, one more time. If you need entry point, you should look for long position above 139 or 139. I wish you profits, guys, and watch my other videos. Bye-bye.